Welcome back to Biostock. I have with me the CEO of Horizon, which is a public clinical stage biopharma company based on epigenetic therapeutics. Thank you so much for being here with us, Carlos. Could you please tell us a little bit about the company? Okay, now the company is a pure biotech. We are developing experimental medicines in the field of mental diseases and in the field of oncology, taking an epigenetic approach, which is basically um, targeting certain proteins, certain enzymes, which are involved on how genes are expressed or repressed. And this is something that happens naturally, but in some diseases, or many of the diseases, they get distorted. So we can, uh, by acting on these specific proteins, we can restore the natural, the physiological, the healthy transcriptional program and help to fix those diseases. And how are you unique? You are not the first company working with epigenetics. Well, not, we are not the unique, but we are uh, the first and the best. <laughs> <laughs> In what sense? In what sense? We, we, were, uh, we are targeting um, a target uh, which is uh, having a funny name, LSD1. Nothing to do with lysergics or uh, nice trips. It's just a, a coincidental acronym for lysine-specific demethylase. And we were the first movers in the area. We have the most extensive patent portfolio and we have the most advanced pipeline in both CNS, where we have right now a phase three molecule, and uh, in oncology, where we are running phase two trials in the US. And you have two compounds in phase two, right? Yeah. Which well, are those, what are they doing? So uh, Buffy, which is the uh, molecule in CNS, um, we are right now um, in phase two in schizophrenia and in phase three in borderline personality disorder, which might be a bit less known for the general public, but borderline personality disorder is a very serious disease uh, very prevalent, there are around 9 million people in the US and Europe altogether. And these people are really suffering very strong symptomatology. They are people that they don't have emotional filters, that they give themselves uh, to the first comer, then they feel rejected, they overreact. I mean, they have a really a very complicated personal life. And this is also joined to a very agitated, impulsive and aggressive behavior. So these people are very often very aggressive, very verbally aggressive, um, very vocal. But there are lots of like behavioral therapy um, for yeah, this, but uh, no medicine yet. No right? medicine, exactly, exactly. So I, I would like to, to emphasize that this is a disease where the uh, suicidal thoughts are the higher, and where the rate of actual suicides is the higher. It's, it's really the, the, the most deadly uh, disease in this in this sense in the uh, uh, among all the psychiatric disorders and what we have is a molecule is an oral pill once a day which is not causing the typical nasty side effects it's not putting you to sleep drowsy the whole day like a zombie is basically not making you wait I mean gain weight it's not making you to lose your sexual appetite which is also important for having a, 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 a quality of life and uh, on top of that we have seen first in animals, which is impressive what we have seen in animals, and now in a phase two trial that we are able to reduce dramatically the aggressivity, the impulsivity of the patients to the extent that the patients treated with our compound, they have much less tendency to self-harming episodes. These people, they often, they cut themselves, they burn themselves. So it's, it's a very complicated disease on that regard. And we are having excellent results we have got uh, very uh, fruitful discussions with the FDA in an end of phase two meeting where we got basically the, the green light to go for a phase three in aggression using the same scale that we have uh, used in the phase two and that was giving us such a strong result. So very, very exciting moment and uh, feeling that we can make an impact for, for the, for the well-being of those patients. You went public 2015. Yes, we did. So what can your shareholders, investors expect from you in the coming five years? What are the milestones you are going to achieve? Well, I mean, um, of course, we entering now in phase three, we are entering in a particular walls where, I mean, uh, these uh, large multifactorial CNS disorders are basically um, indications where only pharma, big pharma can be efficient in selling because 
the channel, the particularities of the commercialization of those drugs are so, um, so big that it goes for, this is a, a game for the big guys. So our investors are going to be expecting that we close a deal or eventually we might be acquired as well by one of the, uh, of the big boys. So that's for the CNS part because we are getting close to the finish line. In oncology, we are having also a beautiful program with another molecule, Yada. And there we are very happy because we, we are one of the few European biotech companies that sign, have been able to sign an agreement with the NIH, National Institute of Health of the United States, with the National Cancer Institute branch, which is basically called a CRADA agreement. And under this CRADA agreement, um, we are basically providing our drug to a number of hospitals and, and federal research groups, which means that now our molecule is being explored in different, um, in different uh, sort of tumors, types of tumors, following a very precision medicine, molecular medicine approach. So on More those, exactly, on those specific uh, diseases where there is a strong rational by which our mechanism of action inhibiting LSD1 could make an impact, for instance, in leukemia, we kill leukemic stem cells, which are the responsible for, um, for uh, relapse. In a small cell lung cancer, which is a deadly, deadly subset of lung cancers, um, we are boosting the immune system and we are making visible the cancer cells, which normally are invisible. So there are a, a plethora of different mechanisms. And this is exciting. The federal researchers in the US, they go to the NCI, NCI come to us and we say, yes, you can do it. So we are right now running a, a, a very nice set of um, phase two trials in oncology, which are costing us very little money, only the money to put the drug in the, on the pharmacy of the hospitals. But we are having a um, really fantastic time with this collaboration with the best guys in oncology in the US. That sounds great. And uh, you're here at BioEuro. What was the primary goal? Well, the primary goal was basically, as you can imagine, this is a, B, a very much focused in BD uh, business yes. development uh, conference. So we have been talking with some of the big boys, happy about that. And we are also starting also other conversations with uh, mid biotech, uh, small biotechs, because it's, it's basically an industry where you, where you should join efforts to see how, how you can create synergies for, for being more efficient and for being able to put the, move forward the drugs that the patients need. Thank you so much for being here and sharing this with us. And good luck with the great job you're doing. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. Thanks.